Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to do a stir fry with Szechuan green beans and bacon. And we're gonna do that over some uh, smoky lapsang Sichuan rice. So let's get started. We're gonna get the rice going so that um, the rice will be ready when we are. So basically what we're going to do is steep some tea and then cook our rice in the tea water. So let's let's get that first and I'll talk a little bit about the rice. So I've got some of the tea here. And I'm putting this in some simmering water. So we'll just let that simmer a little bit. There we go. So Lapsang Suchong uh, tea uh, was invented in the uh, Fujian region of China. And it's said that the way it was invented is that the tea farmers were trying to rush the tea to market. And what they did was they tried to dry the tea leaves over smoldering pine fires because they didn't want to burn the tea leaves, but they wanted to dry them quickly. And so what happened is the tea leaves basically took on the flavor of the pine smoke. And so when they made it into tea, it became this very smoky tea. And when they brought it to market, it actually caught on and became a, kind of the signature tea of that region. So this will give a nice smoked flavor to our tea. So let's do this. All right. While we're waiting for the tea to brew, which will just take another minute or so, let's talk about another ingredient that we'll be using today. And this is the Sichuan part. And uh, Sichuan peppercorns are the signature, one of the signature ingredients in, uh, in the spicy Sichuan uh, cuisine. Interestingly enough, Sichuan peppercorns are not spicy and they're not even peppercorns. In reality, what they are is they are the the seed husks of the prickly ash. And I've got some right here. You can buy them um, at, at, in the uh, Asian grocery stores. And what you've got to do, this is, this is a little bit of work. I've done some of it already. But you can see, there's the hu seed husk. It kind of looks like a little Pac-Man. And inside some of these, are these little black hard seeds and you don't want those. Those don't have any flavor and they make things really gritty. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to separate these guys out and I've done about a teaspoon of them here and what you can do is you can kind of smash them uh, with a mortar and pestle or you can recycle a, um, well, anyway, you can <laughs> recycle the, um, the, the pepper grinders that you can buy at the store and uh, just put them, put these in here to, to grind them up. So since I can't open that up, fortunately I, I have some in here. The other thing you can do is you can buy Szechuan peppercorn oil. You can also make Szechuan peppercorn oil by taking about a quarter of a cup of these, um, of these and basically roasting them in, in about a you know, half a cup of oil and then you can get the flavor of that peppercorn in the oil if you want to like that. So, we'll, but we'll be, we'll be grinding ours. So let's go back over to the, to the Lapsang Suchong tea, which is all nicely brewed now. Smells smoky. And we'll 
we'll take this boiling water. Oh, about a cup there. So let's put in about a cup of rice. You may want to measure a little bit here simply because the, uh, the water is very hot. So let's turn that up and we'll put in our tea. So let's get this boiling, and that's already that's already uh, starting to boil. So that's going to happen pretty quickly. So this tea will be uh, this tea rice will be ready in about 15 minutes because we've already got the water boiling. So let's get started on our stir fry. So what we remember about stir fry is we want to get everything set and ready to go before we um, start putting anything in. So let's take a look at our ingredients here. So green beans are kind of our, our main ingredient here. And in China, they have what's called yard long green beans. So they're three feet long. They're these really long green beans and they, they cut them up. Um, usually, you know, between four and five inches long. What we'll do is we'll just use some regular green beans, and I'm just gonna take the stems off. You're boiling. Oh, it's boiling, yes, so we'll turn that down. There we go. Remember, don't, don't pick up the uh, cover. There we go. In fact, I think what we'll do is let's, Put this on a lower, smaller burner over here. There we go. So that will cook. Shut that off. So we'll be able to keep an eye on everything. There we go. All right. So green beans. So um, I usually figure, you know, a handful of green beans per person. So we'll do those. If you want, you can you could break them in half if you want to make them more bite size. But traditionally, uh, when when you're stir frying green beans, they're they're pretty long. So the, the next thing that we'll prepare will be our our pepper. We're going to use a sweet pepper. If we wanted to really uh, go Szechuan, we could use spicy peppers. Interestingly enough, spicy peppers are not native to China. They actually found their way to, uh, to China via the Silk Road and the European explorers that brought them to China from the Americas. But they became so popular in Chinese cooking that the Chinese just basically adopted these hot spicy peppers as their own. But we're just gonna use um, some nice sweet peppers. Also, uh, red, red uh, bell peppers are actually a little bit sweeter than green bell peppers. They're a little riper. They're the same type, but they're just uh, a little, a little uh, riper. And we'll slice up some onions. There we go. It's good to have a sharp knife, sharp cleaver. There we go. So let's get our proteins ready here. And um, we're going to have some colossal shrimp. These are great. And those of you who are familiar with my dealing with shrimp, what I do is I cut them in half like this. The 
which allows them to curl up when they cook. And what we'll do is we're going to grab a couple slices of bacon and we're just going to slice those into quarter inch pieces. And this is where we will get our fat for stir frying. So this is what we call a dry process. We uh, don't add any other liquids. And so now we are ready to stir fry. Garlic? Hmm? Garlic? I will. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So we've got our wok heated up. And we'll just drop our bacon right in there. And we're going to add some aromatics, kind of our classic Chinese aromatics, our ginger and our garlic. So we'll just Multitasking here. So we're going to get this bacon to render. There we go. All right. So let's get our ginger and our garlic in there. And the first thing that we'll be putting in after our aromatics will be our green beans. Because what we really want to do is we want to actually char the green beans. There we go. So let's put these green beans right in. So we want to get those just to get covered with that bacon fat, the flavor and taste. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're starting to, to char up a little bit. And we'll let that continue. You know, just maybe a minute or so. And then we're going to put in our onions. So each time you put something in here, it lowers that temperature a little bit. And as I said, this is a dry process. There we go. And I'm just basically just breaking those up. It smells really good. All right. And now we'll put in our shrimp. So now let's add our Sichuan flavor. So you can see the uh, you can see the shrimp curling up there. So 
here's our peppercorn without the little black centers. About a teaspoon. So what this says one peppercorn actually does is it causes this numbing sensation in the mouth. Which is pretty interesting when you uh, combine that with the spiciness. So our shrimp is cooked. Our green beans are a little bit charred, which is great. And let's put in just maybe a half a teaspoon of hot sesame oil. So this is the, the heat that we usually think of when we have Szechuan cooking. There we go. And that is ready. So see, I didn't add any other liquid. So that's what I mean by a dry process. So what happens is the vegetables, they stay crispy since there's no added liquid. All of the, any liquid actually comes from the vegetables themselves or the shrimp. All right. Now if you notice, I, I have shut the heat off. Let me get a bowl. Smells pretty smoky. By the way, that's basmati rice that I use. Basmati rice is a very delicate rice, so it cooks quickly. So if you want rice that cooks quickly, that's not instant rice, use basmati rice. Jasmine is nice too, has a slightly sweet scent. And let's grab Crunchy, but seared green beans. So that's it for now. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.